Dual Russian-American citizen Kesnia Karolina is currently being detained by Russia. She was first arrested on January 27th on other charges, but is now being accused of treason. Ksenia Karolina's boyfriend, former boxing champion Chris Van Heerden, joins us now. Uh, Chris, we thank you so much for talking with us. Uh, we understand that you just heard from her on Tuesday for the first time since she, she was detained in January. Uh, give us a sense of what that conversation was like. Yeah, um, I received a letter from Ksenia. Um, it was it was a romantic, it was a beautiful love story. She she kept writing about memories that keep sustained about the two of us and she would go over different stories and um but to tell you Christine is while she's writing this letter she keeps apologizing to me for what she's putting me through she mm. says, I'm so sorry for putting you and this is who she is it's it's really uh, such a tragic uh, turn of events here. We know uh, human rights group First Department says she was detained for a public outburst, uh, but then later accused of treason. What is she saying about these allegations? Well, she hasn't spoken like she doesn't mention. I'm sure these letters go through the whole system before it gets to me. Um, none of that is written in the letter, so I have no idea. Like the last I spoke to was on January 27th when she was detained um, for 15 days um, because of the public outburst, which is insane because I know Ksenia. She's the sweetest person. She doesn't fight. If found guilty, she could face 20 years in prison. Have you heard anything about the chances of, of that happening? No. I've read the news, and to think of it makes me sick in my stomach to think that she's in there. We understand she has a dual citizenship. Uh, have you heard anything from U.S. authorities? Are, are they working to, to try to get her released? Yeah, I, I've been I've been I've been in contact with the U.S. State Department, um, U.S. government in Moscow, the the U.S. Embassy in Moscow. Um, Adam Schiff's uh, Congressman Adam Schiff's team. And everyone is working on it. And I believe the White House has addressed it as well. But I don't know. I don't know what's happening. You've said that she is proud to be Russian. What do you want the government to know about who she is? First of all, she's proud to be Russian. Equally as proud as she, be, as she is to be American. Um, she's a normal person. Just a loving person, loved by all her friends and all her family. Anyone that walks into her life, she touches. They don't want to, they, they don't want to, they want more Ksenia. She's happy. She's full of life. She's got a good heart. And that's quite frankly why she is where she is, because she made a donation as far as I'm reading the news. She's a loving person that needs to be back home. What would you want to tell Ksenia if you could talk to her right now? Baby, you are loved. You have no idea how much love there is for you. You have no idea how many people are praying for you. You have no idea how many people are fighting for you and then trying their best to get you back. Because she, she was supposed to, to have a lawyer. Excuse me. Oh, she was no. supposed to have a lawyer. She was supposed to have a lawyer in court yesterday. And no one showed up. Mm. The lawyer never showed up. And, I, and I'm trying to replay this in my head. Like, this poor woman is going through all the then get to court and find out there's no one cares about her. No one is fighting for her. No one even wants to risk their lives to defend her. And lastly, Chris, what's next? Have you, is there a plan? I know you said that she showed 29th. up, she didn't have a lawyer. Okay, so, go ahead. So on the 29th, this is, she's, back in, she's back in court on the 29th. And I have contact with the parents and I believe they found a lawyer that's willing. So we're in the process of raising funds and, and I've sent money and everyone is through friends is sending money. We've started to go fund me page but it takes five days to be activated. We don't have five days. I don't have five days. We gotta come up with money. Chris, our hearts ache for the agony that, that you're obviously going through. Um, and, and we so appreciate you talking with us. And I hope that you'll continue to keep us, us posted with how everything goes. Absolutely. I wanna honestly say thank you so much 
for for reaching out and 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 keeping the story alive and you guys giving two cents about Ksenia. This is giving me hope and this is really making me proud to be where I am right now. And you guys are making me feel more alive right now than I felt in the last six weeks. I'm so glad to hear that. Thank you, Chris. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.